Hi everyone and welcome back to Lifestyle Love on Sugar Mama TV. Now as you guys know, um, for the month of February I've been doing a financial fast where I've really questioned how I spend, use and sometimes waste money. And one thing I've really realised that is I spend a lot of money on food, some of which is good food, some of which is not so good. And it's really made me have a much sort of deeper analysis as to when I buy, use money to buy food, whether it's you know going to actually provide me with sort of nutritional value and fulfil me and be good for my body. And this um, going through this experience really triggered um, an interesting conversation between my friend Leela Lutz from Momentum for Life um, about looking at food from a, a long-term investment into our bodies. So everyone, this is Leela. Um, from Momentum for Life and Leah, can you just explain to me how you, um, you know, what your thoughts and opinions are around investing in your health um, from, you know, a financial perspective and from a, um, a health perspective? Yeah, totally. Well, what I love about what you do, Kanna, is that you make people excited about and motivated about mm -hmm. saving money. So what I want to do today is talk about how you can get motivated about eating well. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we think about is long-term investment. So. Canon's all about putting money aside, saving, paying off your debt faster, making sure that you don't have any bad debt. So I'm the same with food. So when I think about my health and wellness, I think about what is my body going to be like in 20 years? Mm -hmm. And on a day-to-day -day basis, how much energy am I going to have to be able to work, play, look after my kids, or you know, put energy into my business? So all that comes down to energy is basically what we eat every day. Yeah. So we can say, well, I don't want to spend too much money on food, but there's also going to be a balance of, well, I'm going to have to invest yeah, in so something. What we put in, we get out. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. So I like to think of food as my health and wellness as a bank account. So if I eat healthy food, that, or say mortgage, for instance, if mm -hmm. I'm paying off my mortgage quicker, I'm going to own more of that property. So if I put more investment into my health, I'm going to be able to use my body to help me more. Whereas if I'm going to take shortcuts and eat junk snack food, on, and snack, and cupcakes then and your chocolate. body becomes like a credit card, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're accumulating debt in terms of having to go to the doctor all the time, taking days off work, being sick, feeling, not having enough energy, yeah, being feeling tired. depressed and tired. and Absolutely. And then there's the cost of medication as well. Like, you know, it, it's really expensive yeah. and adds up. There's some things, um, some medications we can get help with and some we can't, but just go to the doctor nowadays. Like, mm. I can't believe... Let alone a specialist. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, really expensive. Yeah. yeah. So, and I had a point in my life where I did, I spent a year going around to specialist after specialist after specialist mm. looking after me. And I remember at the time I was saving up to buy a house with my partner and he was furious about how much I had to spend on my health. health. But it is your health. Yeah. You, you only get one body, you've got to make take care of it and love and nurture it, I guess. Yeah, but I got to a point where I was so sick, I actually spent $7,000 in one year on medical bills. So easily done, though. Yeah, I, I really see it with families all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And imagine what you could do with that $7,000 mm. if you were to put that onto your wards, your deposit for your mm. first home. Mm. Or invest it. Yeah, yeah mm. exactly. So when we think about food, my motivation for that is my body's here to help me run my business and it comes absolutely first. Okay. Okay, so... Um, what we're going to go through is planning, how to shop, how to budget. What are the things that are, to me, absolutely no-nos? Like, for instance, um, you know, we don't go credit card after credit card after credit mm. card to, you know, zero balance to yeah. transfer, to fix it for me. We just go and pay off as much as our credit card as we can. The same with shopping. There are some things that I won't skip out on. Mm -hmm. And I'll say, no, I actually need to spend money on that. And there are other things that I can go, oh, actually, there's a really cheap way to do that that's mm -hmm. still healthy. So I want to have a look at that. Okay. The two of us together. Well, Leela and I are going to do a series on Sugar Mama TV about on how to save money on food and um, and I guess your grocery shopping. And we're going to be covering, giving you heaps of ideas, lots of tips and tricks that are hopefully going to sort of skim down your um, uh, final bill at the checkout. So we really hope that this helps. But we want you to start looking at the the way you spend money on your food as a long term investment. You know. I know you go to the supermarket and I do this myself, I come home and go, wow, I spent almost $200 and I've only got four grocery bags. And then, you know, you're walking down the aisle and a banana will cost like $2.50 for one banana or something ridiculous. And you can buy a packet of Tim Tams for less than $2.50. So um, we want you to start, we're going to start looking at health and um, well-being from, um, from a long-term investment so that, you know, you're, you save money in the long run which really adds up and is far more powerful so we really hope you enjoy this series so make sure you subscribe